Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and today we are taking a break from my NaNoWriMo vlogging to talk about the books that I read in October and the books that I plan to read in November if I can, even though I should be writing and not reading anything. Reading is an important part of writing, so let's get to it so I can go back to writing because I am already behind. I only read three books in October which was a lot less than I wanted to. First book that I read in October was the third Magnus Chase book, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Ship of the Dead, which no, I don't own. And I, I drew this cover, I did a book talk for this book, so if you want all my thoughts on it, I will link that down below, but I gave this five stars. I did kind of considering it, downing it to four stars, but I ended up not because I, I did love it and I do love, and I love Magnus Chase. I love Magnus Chase. I just was a little disappointed in this book. It was, I can't really say much without spoiling it, but Magnus Chase is a spin-off from Percy Jackson. Norse mythology and it's a trilogy. I wish we were getting more books. I would be happier if we got more books. But yeah, I gave this five stars. This is basically a 4.5 really though. The next book that I read in October was Ravenflight by Juliette Marillier, which is the second Shadowfell book. And like Shadowfell, it was a slower book with a lot of traveling still, as our main character continues to hone her skills is basically all I can say. And I gave this four stars. It was really enjoyable, it's just also very slow. It just takes its time. It's one of those fantasy books that's that takes its time. More of also kind of like a 4.5. And then the final book that I managed to finish in October was an audiobook, the first time I've ever listened to an audiobook, and that was The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, which follows our bisexual protagonist Monty on his grand tour of Europe with the best friend that he's in love with and his sister. And it was amazing. I really did enjoy it. I didn't think I would like it all that much, but Really, historical fiction is just like fantasy without all the magic. And also, it was, you know, about a bisexual protag in love with his best friend. How can you not love that? I mean, yes. It was everything that I wanted it to be, and more. And it was really a joy to listen to. The narration for this was great. It was hilarious. I highly recommend this book. I am super excited for, like, the sequel companion novel following the sister Felicity that's coming out next year. I am pumped great because I loved Felicity in this book. So those were all the books that I read in October. Only three. You know, I'm just gonna hope you can't hear that electric sandrum because I've been sitting here for a good five minutes waiting for it to stop. During the 24-hour readathon by Zoe, I started Forest of a Thousand Lanterns, this art copy that I have that I want on Goodreads, and I'm still only about halfway into this. I, it's a really good book. I'm just not super into it myself. I, I don't know why. It just hasn't didn't really suck me in enough. But I'm still going to read this, and this is definitely at the top of my TBR for November. I need to finish this book. Finish it. It's it's an arc. It's the first time I've actually had an arc in my hands, so I need to finish this book. Another book that I started during October but haven't yet finished is War Cross by Marie Lu which I'm enjoying a lot. It's super great. I'm enjoying it a lot. I just haven't finished it yet. Most of this month is being dedicated to writing instead of reading, but I'd still like to get some reading done as well. So that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I need to get back to writing, so I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!